Hey everyone, I'm C.H. Greenblatt, the creator of Harvey Beaks. We ask real kids who are fans of the show to write short scripts based on the title of one of our new episodes. It's called Yeti Ready. We didn't tell them anything else about the episode other than the title, and we got some great creative entries. Here are members of our crew performing kids scripts of Yeti Ready. This is Yeti Ready by Noe, age 12. Fee and Harvey have made it halfway up a snowy mountain, hoping to find valuable treasure in a cave, supposedly the home of a Yeti. Fee, are you sure that there's treasure in the cave? What if we make it all the way up there and just to find nothing? Come on, Harvey, you're just scared of the Yeti. Yes, I am. Anything that Fu thinks is dangerous, so do I. Fee pouts. Hmm. You think Fu's more adventurous than me? No! If he was, then he'd be on this adventure, not you. True, Harvey. I think we're here. Wrong! <laughs> ah! This is Yeti Ready by Josie. Well, is the Yeti ready? It's big and furry, smelly and dirty. Of course it's not ready. It needs a makeover. Do we have time for that? Of course not. But we have no choice, because if he doesn't get on stage looking nice, then you know who will win and be president. Gasp! Then let's get this Yeti ready, because that guy is one of the worst creatures in the land. Okay, you teach Yeti to be like royalty, and I will write him a speech. First, you are going to have to teach Hime to speak. Oh, 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 and I can be his stylist, and I want to do something fancy with his hair. Well, we better be fast because if you know who is elected president, then we will all have to move to Canada. And I don't want to do that because I just joined a book club. I'm not moving to Canada. Their crystal reception is not good there. Get the yet now. We both yell, Oh, oh Yeti! Yeti! What? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yeti Ready by Keaton, age 10. Harvey, Fee, and Foo start to stroll around in the woods at Little Bark Road. Just then, Harvey hears a few big stomps and a roar! Quick, you guys, let's run back to my place. Something's ambushed us. But what? I bet it's a tomato. <laughs> Maybe, but it could be a troll. I think I know. Yeti ready title. Credits, etc. In Harvey's backyard, Welcome all, Fee, Food, Dade, Kratz, Ruder. I brought you here because there was a Yeti. Yes, a Yeti. A Yeti? That's it. I'll handle this. Move aside, move aside. Ruder, no, I don't want to lose you like my mother. <laughs> she went to the store. <laughs> Tough loss. <laughs> I don't know, Harvey. The Yeti sounds pretty strong, and, well, we're no match for anything strong. <laughs> Pull yourself together, guys. We got ourselves a Yeti. Big deal. A big deal? This thing is gonna be like watching a scary movie. Quit, baby. Let's all just confront this gorilla. They all go to the little bark woods. Behind bushes, hiding. I see it. Pretty spooky, huh? Nah. Ooh. Not really. <laughs> it looks like a garbage bin. <laughs> uh oh, it's coming our way! Attack! They rush up to the creature, but stop as they get closer. Jeremy? <laughs> princess? <laughs> Jeremy giving Princess a piggyback ride? <laughs> oh, oh, hi. Hey, Barbie! It, uh, it isn't really what, uh, what it, uh. Shut up already! Show's over! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to rid the forest of the most diabolical scourge to ever walk on two lives. The Yitty.